everybody it's me megs and today i'm gonna showcase this rpg show wig this blonde ashy kind of look but girl uh the wig didn't come like this <laughs> i had to do a little manipulation to get this white blonde that i desired so the wig came actually like this it had some kind of yellow brassy tones in it um that i wasn't too fond of so i wanted to go ahead and kind of like correct that by toning it um and the toners that i used are by wella the color charm so i used t27 and t18 so this kind of gave me an ashy blonde which is t18 which is the lightest ash blonde and then t27 gives you a medium beigey blonde so i mixed the two to kind of get like a cool tone kind of like white ash blonde so i use the salon care 20 volume cream developer and you mix the toner up with this volume right girl and then you just slap it all over the wig let it sit for about 45 minutes and then wash it out i use the shimmer lights shampoo so that's pretty much all i did it's very very simple i didn't film that part because it was so easy and this is how the hair turned out it didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it, only because I still have some brassy tones in this unit that were really hard to get out. But I feel like this wig is way more wearable now than what it was before. Um, the hair still feels really, really good. And I noticed that the hairline on this lace is pre-plucked. It looks, appears pre-plucked to me. But of course, I would have to kind of like customize it a little bit more for my liking. But I'm wearing a center part. Of course, the RPG show wigs come in this really nice box that they have improved over the years. This kind of wig slip, which keeps my wigs nice um, when storing them when I'm not wearing them. So, and also has this really nice brush that I really like too. It's nice for detangling when you're washing your wig, so it's really nice. I like that a lot. And of course, this elastic band, which is really helpful that I sewed onto the wig later on. And it helps keep my wig nice and flat. And all the RPG show wigs come with this magazine, which is kind of like helps you, you know, put your wig on, make it look really nice. And of course, it has uh, some wig caps that it comes with. So I will have to say that the construction of this wig is probably one of the best ones that I've had from RPG Show. Um, the lace is really, really nice. It's not really too thick like it used to be. The combs are really nice and smooth and the wig comes with adjustable straps in the back. So I would highly suggest to corn roll your hair. I didn't. <laughs> corn roll your hair so the wig lays flat, especially if you plan on wearing it straight. And then, of course, I'm going to put on two wig caps because I just feel like it makes my hair smoother since I didn't braid it down. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace off of the hairline. And as you can see, it, it's pre-plucked. It's really nice hairline. Um, so just I'm going to take my time and cut the lace off around the hairline. You know, just with some scissors. Y'all, can you believe I just got my wisdom teeth pulled out and I'm doing this voiceover? Thumbs up for that. <laughs> um, so the lace is completely off. It's I just really love the construction of this wig. I feel like this is one of the best wigs that I've had because this hair feels really good too. But um, I tried the wig on. I noticed that the wig cap was too light, so I just put a brown one on top. So I highly suggest with the newer uh, RPG show wigs that you use a darker wig cap so it won't show through the lace the lighter ones are it's just too light it'll show right through the lace so um, I'm not gonna glue um, not glue but use any um, got to be on my hairline for this video but if I'm going out of course I would put some got to be on the hairline so it can just remain nice and secure so of course I'm gonna section off the wig okay and so I can flat iron it so the hair feels okay, but I will say with this hair, since it was bleached, the ends are a little drier than the rest of the hair. So that is something I did notice as I was flat ironing it. And I'm just going to spray some Care Care Silk and Seal because that's my favorite thing to use when flat ironing hair and my real hair when I used to flat iron it. <laughs> So I just take a little a smaller section within that section, comb it through, and just proceed to flat iron with my KQC ceramic flat iron that I've been using for years. 
this works oh so good and i've noticed with the rpg show wigs especially with this one the hair is, feels different it feels of so much like better quality than it has in the past i'm like what's going on rpg show and i love the density of this it's not too much hair i don't like wigs that have like a lot of hair in it so this is really like whoa this this wig's a lot different from all the other wigs that i've gotten so um I just proceed to flat iron my hair or the wig hair until it's complete and it's really nice feels really nice and lightweight not too dry other than the ends which is kind of normal when you have bleach hair but it, it kind of got annoying as I kept flat ironing because I can feel the the dryness of the ends which I might have to cut eventually so my flat iron hair is done and I take some Sebastian hairspray and spray the top half of the hair to make sure that um, I get that part nice and flat. This is just something I tend to do because it works really well. Yeah, but it doesn't ruin the lace or anything. And then spray some more hairspray on my fine tooth comb and run it through the hair just to help control some flyaways and just to kind of finish off the sleek look. I tend to wear blonde during the summertime and I just love blonde on chocolate skin just to have some fun so this is pretty much how the hair looks and as you can see the ends do have some split ends to them which I may clip later but overall I really love the color of the ends it turned out exactly how I wanted to as far as the ends go because it's that white kind of blonde that I was going for right right so um yeah as you can see the ends do tangle up a little bit because the ends are dry but I did I did forget to mention I did condition the hair after I shampooed it and it did help a little bit um of course I'm going to um conceal the lace and then later on I did fix the parting because my part was a little crooked um, I'm not going to pluck the hairline right now because I'm wearing a center part and no one's going to see my hairline. But, of course, if you choose to wear like a side, deep side part, you would have to, of course, customize it just a little bit more and make it look more natural. And this is probably the part that kind of irks me the most about this wig is the transition from the black to the blonde. It's not really that smooth and it's a little brassy. That's the only thing that I could not fix while toning is that that transition to the rest of the blonde is a little brassy. Not a little brassy, probably like a lot of bit of brassy. But overall, I really love this wig. It might end up being a wig that I wear like a cute scarf with or like a cute hat with. But I love the way the hair feels. I love the color that I chose to tone the hair with. The hair feels good. The construction of the wig is probably the best that I've had from RPG Show. So I will say it's a win for me as far as RPG Show, this wig, the construction. So everything that I use will be down in the description, y'all. And if you have any additional questions, feel free to ask me. And I'll see you guys later.